Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new WWE Supercard video episode 87 with me, Cool Guy, and you, the awesome viewers. And we've just hit 3,000 subscribers, so thank you so much to all of you. Like, I just, some, you know, I have no more words, you know, for 1,000 and 2,000. It was all the words, all the words I could say now, I said before, but if it's if it's repetitive and tedious i'm sorry but you guys honestly it, you guys are so awesome the support you guys give me is amazing thank you so much to every one of you guys who watch the streams watch the videos leaves likes and who has subscribed to my channel cool go me dash ww supercard you guys are absolute legends each and every one of you guys and it honestly makes me so happy that i get to do this every single day and then we've got such an awesome community so um not much to do today on the episode, but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and sort out what I need in my what I my cards and like sort that kind of thing out. So Jack Gallagher played a tiny bit with him. Uh, tried to you know force myself to play a bit of wild mode, which I hate, but you know I played a couple games, not much at all. Um, but we've got loads of cards that we can combine, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine them because my RTG deck is my worst card is Braun Strowman. In my deck right now, it's not actually because if you auto, actually it is Braun Strowman, and then Braun Strowman should be better than Baron Corbin. Or I think they're the same level, but once we get Jack Gallagher in, that will even that will push out you know either Braun or um, Baron Corbin because yeah, Braun hasn't got his games played, so I'm not sure who is better. I could check really quickly on the poll. Let me open that up. But while we do, um, we're gonna go ahead and sort out my cards in the in the in my well the cards that I need to pro and all of that. So, let me just check in Ultimate which is better. So, Baron Corbin and Braun Strowman, I thought they were. They are the same. So, that is decent. Um, so, that means people like Cesaro, Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson, and Enzo Amore can be uh, can be proed. And that is what we're going to do today. So, there's a little bit of interesting things for me to do. And we'll play a couple of Money in the Bank games. So, Enzo is proed. He did get the gold start because they were both leveled up. But one of the Enzos... Um, didn't have all of his games played. Next, we've got Cesaro, which won't be a silver star as I've got both of them leveled up. Neither of them, neither of them have any games played. But let's go and combine Antonio Cesaro, and he is done. We have Luke Gallows next, so let's go ahead and get Luke Gallows done. This will be indeed a silver star because he is not leveled up, but we don't need him. So silver star. Um, we'll do the same thing with Carl Anderson, go ahead and combine that, yes, that is another Silver Star Ultimate Pro, and then we can do the same thing with Kevin Owens, even though Kevin Owens, yes, he's a really good card, but I don't want to have two Ultimate Pros of the same dude, you know, it's not going to help me out that much more to have Kevin Owens or to have, let's say, like, Bray Wyatt, yes, for sure, Kevin Owens is, is definitely one of the better cards. Um, if we have a look here, we know that Seth Rollins, Smojo, then Brock Lesnar, Ada Styles, and then actually Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is indeed like better than Nakamura, John Cena, and Dean Ambrose, and all of that, Randy Orton, Roman Reigns. So, I could level him up, get his games played, and he would obviously fit into my deck for for a short while until, you know, like I think like one more event pro, and once we get like Roman Reigns done, even though, yes, Kevin Owens is better, but... Just OCD wise and just wise that I want in my deck, just to have you know each you know a, a new wrestler like you know all the same wrestler over and over. So let's go and combine this Kevin Owens, which will trigger a couple a couple of you guys, and I am sorry about the triggering that is going on right now. Um, let's go and off combinable, and we're gonna go and see all the cards that we have proed, so we can lock them and I'll keep them for fusions. And all of that good stuff. So quite a few lock uh, him, lock Kevin Owens and Carl Anderson. We've also got Cesaro. I'm pretty sure that we can go ahead and lock Cesaro. Ooh, there you are. Lock him. Perfect. And Enzo Mori as well. We will lock. Perfect. So there we go. All the cards we've proed are now locked and are saved. Which is all good, but I'll use them for fusion food and those kind of things. So these are all my ultimate singles. Apart from that, you guys can see like Kofi, TJ, Asuka... Um, all of these guys right here, if I ever get pros, um, are just going to be silver starred, like even Kofi, Roman Reigns, I won't silver star right now, I will actually try and get him up in the next Team RTG, I'll just uh, slap him in there and he'll get some games played, The Miz, um, Randy Orton, I will, I want, you know, all of these cards I want to pro for the catalogue, but a lot of them just won't get in my team anymore, the lower tier ones. So, apart from that, we... Oh, that's what I wanted to do, my Bailey. My Bailey, I, I saw her, uh, 40, 40, 40, 40, 
Oh no, 39. She needs one more. One more in charisma. And a lot more here. Okay, so she's not she's not far off. I mean, a bit of toughness, a bit of speed, a couple of power, a couple of charisma games, and she should be done. So I'll definitely uh, try and get my games played with her and Jack Gallagher. Bailey will definitely make it in my RTGs deck, and that will be, you know, my last Elite Pro will be gone, and I'll have a whole Ultimate Pro deck, which is awesome, absolutely fantastic. My Divas could be a bit better, um, you know like events or money in the bank ones like the charlotte the naomi or the lita i would love to have those kind of cards but i don't and i can't get them now so i will just be happy with that but we do have like asuka um sasha banks and charlotte all ultimate cards that we can pro if we get a second one of them because they will be better than the night jacks let's go ahead and play some money in the bank as soon as i get my jack gallagher uh pro i will start a king of the ring i'll sandbag my jack gallagher and hopefully we won't level him up like we did with the Randy Orton, and that way I won't have to title my video, fail, and then you get loads of comments saying that I'm a clickbait <laughs> cunt or something, you know? Anyway, Power Charisma. Um, we're gonna go, we're actually gonna go take Dean Ambrose on, because my power is slight, is better without even me using the support. And obviously, uh, Dean Ambrose doesn't proc in power, so we really didn't need to use the support card, but it does it to my whole deck, so help me out. Enzo More, Toughness and Speed. Uh, we'll use Finn Balor, easy game there, and that's going to get us up to 20,000 contracts on Money in the Bank, which is actually really, really awesome. There we go, 20k contracts, you know, I'll take 20k contracts, we're not, we're not all um, Money in the Bank grinding machines like Rainbow. Um, yeah, shout out to Rainbow Warrior, wow, I don't know how he plays so much Money in the Bank, big ups to him. Because it's, it's hard, it's hard for me to, you know, keep playing Money in the Bank, it's not, it's not, I mean, I'm liking it a little bit more. Because it's actually quite fun if you like, you know, it, it's not, it's not a bad game mode. It, it's not a bad game mode, but it does get a little bit boring. But anyway, Randy Orton versus Sami Zayn. That should be a win for Randall. And now we'll use, you know, either one of these will get the win for us. Uh, actually, speed on well. Right, wow, our speed is actually better than Jericho's, and it's Brock Lesnar we're talking about. Fantastic. And there we go. We get the win. Four contracts. Perfect. Twenty k. Oh, it's going to be nice seeing that, just that rounded 20k, you know, 20k on the dot, nothing more, nothing less, OCD, perfect on that. But there we go, guys, we are done for today's episode, which is a short episode, but I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. Smash a like on this video if you did, subscribe for more, and I do have uh, my 3,000 subscriber special video coming up soon. I haven't recorded it, I haven't done it yet, but I will do it, I might just die doing it, and I won't reveal what it is to you guys yet, but... Just take it, take the clue, I might die doing it, okay? Just use that as a really good clue. Um, maybe, maybe not die, but I'm, I'm going to need, I'm going to need um, probably a couple of days to, to recuperate from it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video and this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. So then, peace out and take care. Bye.